Hi. Um, in this tutorial, we will see how we can use reduce aggregation pipeline operator with MongoDB array. In our previous video, we have seen um, the uses of map and filter with MongoDB array, but today we will see reduce operator. Now, if we, as we are in the um, uh, um, documentation page and we are seeing that uh, in reduce, there are actually three fields. And the first field is input, which actually takes an array as the type of is, uh, type of input is an array. And the initial value actually it works as an accumulator. Uh, its type of expression we will just give here an, um, a, an initial value here, but it will work as an accumulator after that when actually the calculation will work. In is an expression, the type of in is an expression. We will do all our uh, calculation or computation here. Now, if you go to the MongoDB playground, we are seeing that there are two documents here in the collection and it um, the both document has a field number, which is type of array. And this field actually carries um, some number elements. What we will do, we will just try to find out the highest value from these uh, number elements. And we can do this thing, this stuff by using max, you know, we can using the, this using max uh, operator, but we will try to, uh, try to find out this by using reduce so that we can understand how I can reduce work. So instead of using max um, on the number array, we will use uh, reduce pipeline operator so here in the array we are passing the num array and the initial value will be zero because the actual return value what we are looking for are type of is type of and number, so we are giving her a number. And in, we will do the computation or calculation here. What we will do, as we are trying to find out which number is the highest valued number, so for that, we will have to compare each number. And after comparison of each number, we will try to uh, store the highest value number in somewhere else. And after that, in next element, we will try to compare that uh, element with the uh, stored number. And if that number is, um, if the number is higher than the, or greater than the stored number, then the element number will be stored in the accumulator place or in the somewhere else actually. And by doing this, um, we will try to find out the highest number. So here, in the initial value, we just give her zero as initial number, but the initial uh, value, actually initial value is that place where we will actually uh, store our store our number, uh, store our actually greater number. Uh, in, in map, actually we have seen that map gives us a single parameter, a single parameter, a functional parameter, but Reduce gives us two functional parameter. One is accumulator, accumulator, and one is the element, element. So accumulator, accumulated value is uh, represented here in reduce by using uh, double dollar sign value, and element is represented by double dollar sign this. And but uh, and obviously this two will have to keep under double quotation. Uh, so by using this, we will we will do all our activities here in reduce. And now what we will do, we will write and condition so that we can compare the number. So the condition will be, the condition will be, The condition here in the boolean expression we will try to compare the accumulated number here 
which the initial value we have given zero and with each element number. So what it will be, yeah, there is a competition. We are going to get it within a doc. And now here we will try to compare which one is greater than or equal. So for that, we will use greater than or equal. And in the expression, we will uh, compare which one is greater. We will try to compare with the accumulated value. Value. And this accumulated value is actually coming from here in the initial value every time. And the expression two will be the element and which is represented by this. And if value, accumulated value is greater than the element which is coming from the array, then it will return the accumulated value. I mean, it will store the accumulated value to the initial value. So for doing this, we were just returning the value. And if not, then it will store the element number if it is greater than the accumulated value to the to the initial value. And everything I think is done here. And uh, we can just change here uh, 22 to 23, uh, 13 to 16. So in the first document, the highest value number, value number is 23. And the second value, the highest value number is 16. So if I run this, I think we will get the result. Yes, we are getting that the highest maximum number is 23 and the um, maximum number of the second document is 16. Um, we have, we are just returning a number type, but we can return anything, any type document. It can be document, it can be an array, it can be string. If you go to the documentation and if you just scroll down, we'll see that here just it is returning the calculated value calculate um, uh, um, concatenation of some strings in an array and it is just doing multiplication and and uh, addition and ultimately which is returning and document we're seeing here and so as it is returning the document so the initial value is also a document so you should keep it in mind the return value type and the initial value type need to be similar and here it is also concatenating, uh, concatenating the errors too. So I think we have understand how we can use reduce with MongoDB array. And I hope that you have learned something from this studio. In next video, we'll try to see something new. So till then, thank you very much.